Great news, everybody. Microsoft has updated the whiteboard program so that it works. A couple of months ago, I did a video where I really unloaded on it. I really hated the new version. The previous version of whiteboard is one of my favorite programs of all time. I used it a ton. So now I've been stuck with the old one and I disabled all the auto-update features so that I could keep running it. But then I gave it a new shot recently and I'm really pleased to say that now it's actually working. Here's the biggest differences. Now you can, when you do, well, let's do some sketches here with just something here. And then one of the things that really annoyed me with the previous version was that here, when you use the eraser and then you just touch one of these. Oh, that's, that's not what I want to do. Here, this was the default setting in the new one. You just, uh, and everything is gone. And depending on what you're trying to accomplish, this can be very useful, of course. But for my use scenario, it was horrible because I, I'm more, I used it like a real whiteboard. And then you need a real eraser as well. And this, thank you, Microsoft, for doing this little implementation. Let me show you. Now, if I draw something here, I can choose here. Partial stroke or entire stroke. So we go back to partial stroke. And then I just flip my pen and I can use it as a regular eraser. And this is very important to my use case. So I'm super happy about that. And then the second one, which was also a real deal breaker. Let's grab here a little screenshot from a 3D model on a project I'm working on. They had, for some inexplicable reason, forgot or omitted the copy paste f function because you want to just do a quick sketch and send in an email this is very useful if you want to like take this photograph and let's say hey guys remember the flanking transmission through this path and uh, this uh, flanking connection is very important like you couldn't do that but now you can and that's very nice and i'm very very happy about that so then maybe all these other new features that I haven't really started to, to work with yet, but maybe this like text if you want to do some really serious stuff. You can do it, but and that's the best part. It's an option now. You can use it like the old one, or you can use it at the new one, or you can use it as a combination. So finally, we can say that old sins can be forgiven, and uh, this one is highly usable. And if you need a really simple tool for creating quick sketches, grab a drawing tablet. It's a great investment. And you can try out this uh, Microsoft Whiteboard tool. It's, it's good now. It's good. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, in today's video, I'm wearing a blue shirt, this patterned jacket, which has kind of like dark blue or black stripes, which I pair with a pair of black pants. And usually navy blue and black do not go well together. But in this case, it kind of works, I think. Because you see black and then these, these patterns in the jacket, they pick it up in a nice way. And then of course a little splash with burgundy and that's like the icing on the cake. Perfect. Have a nice weekend. See you later.